Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning. I am Frozen Mullen, and today we still continue on with our Demon Hunter Arena run. I'm not that surprised it's still functioning. I think it's just about getting those matchups, and me kind of just being greedy at the right time. I will say, kind of, I've got to be, which it's hard to know when the right time is. I mean, some of it comes from experience, some of it comes from a bit of luck. It's just the way the game is sometimes. But anyway, let's jump in. Okay. This ends now. Yeah, I should toss that. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. It is one thing that I do like about Arena, is that there is quite a lot of unpredictability. I mean, I used to play quite a lot of, like, standard, and just playing in, like, ranked and stuff like that, and I found, like, it just very frustrating. That essentially all you had... Yeah, well, again, we'll coin this out here. But you just had the meta, as it were, and the decks that were played were just the decks, and there really wasn't much in the way of innovation around that. Um, I play this. I don't really have any nuggets with that. I think the Chaos Strike allows you to draw into stuff, it so we'll kill it off. Now, I don't know if that was good for me to do that sort of play or not. They can kill it, and I probably should do. I mean, this is the only problem I think I have with the deck itself, is the fact that I can't kind of reliably get to my late game, and I'm kind of a little bit beholden onto the card draw, so stuff like the Immolation Aura with the Acolyte Pain is like really good to have. The fact that I can just draw, redraw those two cards and still get another one off it, potentially, while also still clearing the board. Which is good enough here. No, it's not, because i got to play this as well. We're overloaded. Hmm. Hmm. I really think it's actually... I could play... No, we play this. Into this. It's hard to know what ball clears are effective and when they're going to be effective. I 
gonna say, I think this is the turn that I kind of play stuff out. Yeah. I've got to play stuff out, and I do need the card draw off the Acolyte, so... Oh, I'm in a bit of trouble here. Demons. Demons. Like, this dies anyway, this dies anyway. I can't get through the taunts, I can't hit that with any other way. Clearing the board just gives it more health than anything else. But I've gotta kinda gotta do it. Speak to me. And I hate that I have to do it, but I've got to. I can have taken the damage regardless, either way. Wind at breath. No, they still would have got through anyway, even if I did that. Man, that is annoying. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just straight up dead. I can't do anything, really. Um... Yeah, uh, no, I, yeah, <laughs> I was never getting out of that game. That, that is unfortunate. I don't necessarily think what I did was bad as a play. Just I didn't have any of the tools I needed to probably deal with that particular card. Yeah. Like, the annoying fan was my only sort of way of dealing with that situation. Which is delaying the inevitable. And they also had a rush minion, which meant that I could never really kind of lock that minion down. So even if I accept the four, they just play that anyway. And I'm still in the exact same situation. I do the same ball clear with that, and I still take the face damage, so I end up taking... Yeah, I shouldn't take more damage. It's disappointing as an end. Because that card can be really good. And unfortunately, they, they got it at the right time, at the right good deck, and that's how we lose. Just a sudden loss out of nowhere. But anyway, if you do enjoy these videos, do leave a like, subscribe to see more, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.